She targets wildebeest, almost twice her size. to the neck, she suffocates her quarry. It's all over in minutes. The meat from a small calf could keep her going for a few days, but she's not hunting only for herself. As the most experienced hunter in this trio, she is happy to share her kill. She allows the males to join her, and that they don't chase her off the carcass is significant. Eating together is the first building block of a pride. Her reward is companionship. The males get the lion's share of her kill. They gorge themselves and can eat up to a quarter of their own weight in one sitting. For the first time, Herbert sees the two males compete. It is the younger of the two brothers that emerges as the dominant male. They won't fight over her. As members of the same coalition, they come to a gentleman's agreement. If the dominant brother tires, the other might get a chance to mate as well. Now she rolls, not to greet Herbert, but in submission. When Herbert returns a year later, there are still no cubs. It's a huge disappointment. Lady is now almost 13 years old, and Herbert and the team must consider the possibility that she is infertile. Lady's body posture changes. She knows that the males could attack these new residents. Contracted, she puts the males in their place. After five weeks in the boma, the team feels the young females are ready to be released. Not sure how the males will react, they lure them away with a fresh carcass. The young cubs have also not been fed for a couple of days. When the gates open, a new chapter begins. Lady is first on the scene. The cubs have spent more than a month in the Boma to adjust. The question now is whether this newly forged bond will hold when they step through the gate. turns into a cat fight. But it is more show than anything else. If Lady wants to kill these cubs, she can do so in the blink of an eye. The 
first contact might seem aggressive, but it plays out according to plan. Ladies doing exactly what the team hoped for. She accepts them in her territory and establishes her dominance. The landscape of Lua now looks very different from the days when Lady followed Herbert to his camp. Now two young and subdued females follow her. But Lady is not used to having an entourage. She's not at all familiar with the dynamics of a pride. Now that she has her freedom back, she does the unexpected. She abandons them. The two young females now find themselves in a new and unfamiliar environment swarming with hyenas. Since their release, the young females stick together. are in real jeopardy. <laughs> Hyenas can kill lonesome female lions, and tonight they face a growing mob. a far more dangerous adversary, the males. <laughs> the two brothers have finally tracked down the youngsters in the wild, and Lady is nowhere in sight to protect them. The hyenas know what's good for them. En masse, they retreat. This is their first encounter with the males outside the boma. Anything can happen. The brown-collared female is first to bolt. is cornered before she can escape. Locked up and frustrated, she could turn violent and kill the youngster. is one step closer to reaching its goal. The male will sire the next generation. But what about Lady? Will she be part of this new pride? It somehow seems sad and tragic if she is now excluded. And on cue, she disappears. female when she hunts. To feed both of them, she must target bigger prey.
not helpful. His over-eagerness spoils the hunt. Female are now the major players in this drama. When Lady suddenly reappears. The young female watches the reunion from a distance. Over many years, Herbert and Lady somehow learn to recognize and respect each other's intentions. When she looks at him now, he feels he can almost hear her asking, is this what you wanted? The young female frequently mates with the lion in Lady's presence. Females are the cornerstone of prides. They form strong bonds and hunt together. Lady follows. This is certain new development and the outcome is swift and lethal in all his years at Lua this is the first time that Herbert films Lady not hunting on her own When the male joins them, the circle is complete. The air is full of promise. Instead, she perfected the art of surviving on her own. Without the help of a pride, this lioness had to adapt. When she hunts, the combination of patience, power, and speed spectacular. to produce a living. 